Hello everybody, welcome back to Brain Bank. I'm Brian Stewart. Let's read another book. This book is about food. Are you hungry? Well, we're going to talk about pasta in this book. The book title is Pass the Pasta, Please. Pass. If you are at the table and there's something over there, the pasta is over there, oh, I can't reach it. You say to your mother or your father or your brother or your sister, please pass. Pass the pasta. Pass the salt. Thank you. So pass the pasta. Pasta? What is pasta? Well, you know spaghetti, right? Spaghetti is pasta. Do you know macaroni? Macaroni is also pasta. So we're going to talk about pasta in this book. If you see the kids on the front page, they have pasta. Wow, look at the different shapes. They're all different kinds of pasta. So let's learn about pasta in this book. Pass the pasta, please. There are more shapes for pasta. Look at all these shapes. Some pasta looks like a circle. Some pasta looks like a star. Some pasta's big, some pasta is small. Let's talk about the different shapes and kinds of pasta. First, we can see two different kinds of pasta here. Here are our friends again. They are holding the different types of pasta. This pasta, pasta can be curved. Curved, right? Curved like part of a circle. It is curved. So it is curved. Let's read together. Pasta can be curved. Curved like this. Or it can be like this. What is this? Pasta can be straight straight. So these are pandero, curved and straight. Let's read together. Pasta can be straight. So pasta can be curved, pasta can be straight. Okay. Look at this. More differences in pasta. This is kiel, right? This is chalbao. <laughs> okay. How do we say that in English? Pasta can be long. It can be long, right? Or pasta can be short, short. Let's read together. Pasta can be long, okay? Pasta can be short. And we can see the different pastas that our friends are holding. She is holding long pasta. He is holding short pasta. Okay? Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. This pasta, what can we say about this pasta on the top? It almost looks like a sheet of pasta, like a sheet of paper, right? We can say this pasta can be wide. So if we look at the top and the bottom, or the side to side, it's wide. It's wide. Either way, we can say it's wide. This pasta, though, this pasta is thin. Thin. Okay, so this pasta is thin. So let's read together. Pasta can be wide. Pasta can be wide. Or... Pasta can be thin. Let's read together. Pasta can be thin. Okay, good. She is holding wide pasta. He is holding thin pasta. Okay? Wow, look at that. Pasta can be lots of colors. Look at all the different colors that pasta can be. Okay? Pasta can be lots of colors. It can be green. The top pasta here is green, 
green pasta. It can be red. Red? Red pasta? It's possible. It can be red. Next, it can be yellow. Oh, botonge, right? Normally, usually, botonge, botonge, pasta is yellow. Spaghetti is yellow. Macaroni is yellow. Normally, usually, pasta is yellow. Next, it can be black. Black pasta? Sounds like jajamyeon, right? But jajamyeon, the noodle isn't black, the sauce is black, and you mix it. But this is just black pasta. Can you imagine black spaghetti? Oh, isang heo, right? But it's possible. So let's, let's read together. Pasta can be lots of colors, lots, many. It can be green, it can be red, it can be yellow, it can be black. Okay, so there are many colors that pasta can be. Also, pasta can be lots of shapes. Wow, it's very amazing, isn't it? Wow, you can make many different things with pasta. This looks like a tree here. These are spaghetti. This is spaghetti pasta, right? And it looks like branches and leaves on a tree because pasta has many different shapes. Here is a little rose bush, right? Here's a little flower. This is the sun, right? This is pasta in a ball. And we have little short pieces of pasta here. And this is the ground, and under the ground, we have many different shapes for pasta. So, pasta can be lots of shapes, different shapes. It can be round, like this one. It can be round. It can be square. It can make a square. What other shapes can you see? Look at this shape. What is this shape? It looks like a bow tie. Bow tie. It's a bow tie shape, right? This is almost a star shape. Star shape, okay? This is a flower shape. So there are many shapes that pasta can be. Let's read together. Pasta can be lots of shapes. It can be round. It can be square. What other shapes can you see? Many, many different shapes. Okay, pasta is made from eggs and flour. Here we see eggs. Here we see flour, and this is wheat. Flour comes from wheat. Flour is made from wheat. Let's read together. Pasta is made from eggs and flour. Flour is made from wheat. These are the steps in making pasta. Can you make pasta? Yes, you can if you follow these steps, okay? You can make pasta. You can mix the egg and the flour together. Then you can push it together in number two. In number three, you cut the pasta. In number four, you put the pasta in a pasta machine, and then you turn the handle, and look, the little pasta comes out. It's a lot of fun, right? What kinds of pasta are there? Pasta is cooked in different ways. Pasta is cooked in many different ways. Do you like lasagna? Mm -hmm. I like lasagna. It's very good. Lasagna, macaroni, spaghetti. I'm sure you like these kinds of pasta. So. Will you have pasta for dinner tonight? Maybe. You can have many different shapes 
and even some different colors. Pasta is good for you. So remember, when you're eating pasta, pasta is eaten all over the world. It's everywhere. Pasta is in America, it's in Korea, and of course it's in Italy. Italy is where pasta comes from, right? So, when you are eating pasta with your friend, remember pasta is good to eat, and tell your friend, pass the pasta, please. Pass the pasta, please. Give me the pasta, please. But it's more polite to say pass the pasta. So if you have pasta tonight, you can tell your friends or your family members, pass the pasta, please. Okay? Enjoy your pasta. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.